going to get your blood pressure this morning, okay? Okay. So I'm going to pull up her other seat, lock her bed. Do you feel like sitting up on the side of the bed yes, for me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Good. Sit up on the side of the bed for me. I'm going to put the table here so you can rest your arm. I'm going to get my stethoscope. Now, reading the blood pressures is something that we're going to have to do in the classroom. You need to know how to do the blood pressures and understand what each one of these are and um, how we use them. First, we have to realize that we get the blood pressure at the break of your pulse which is the one between your elbow and your shoulder, which would be along here. So it will feel just like the pulse, you will feel it beating. And that is where you will put this veil, okay? This is the earpiece and the diaphragm. You have to clean the earpiece and the diaphragm before you start. You will take the blood pressure cuff and these arrows here have to be over the break of your pulse. Then you lay the arm with the hand with the palm of the hand up. Now, when you pump this, uh, pump this up, you have to pump it up between 160 and 180. And each one of these little short lines would be two. And the long line would be the uneven numbers. The even numbers is on the, you will see them written on there, but the uneven number is outlined by a long line. And the short lines between the long line and the even numbers are two. So there is never 17, 15, that will be 16, 18, or 20. So, and to handle this, you will hold this ball in your hand. You will turn this little lever to the right until you feel a little resistant. Once you uh, turn it to the right, feel a little resistant, you will pump it up between 160 and 180. And then you would start let it release in the air out slowly by turning the lever to the left and let it go out slowly. Now the way you do this blood pressure, the first sound you hear, that sound like a heartbeat. And whatever number it is at at the time you hear that beat, that would be your systolic number, your top number. And you will hear beats continually going until you don't hear them anymore. And the last area, uh, at the last number, you hear the beat. That would be your diastolic number, your bottom number. So you have to learn to listen so that you'll know what you're listening to. And you have to tune out all of the things that are around you, because sometimes you can hear other things. So let's get the blood pressure. We need to clean the earpiece the diaphragm and we also need to clean the bell Now I'm going to put 
stethoscope in my ear and I'm going to pay our pay for her brachial pulse. And wherever I feel her brachial pulse, this is where I will put the bell. You don't ever use your thumb because your thumb has a pulse of its own. Put the bell flush to the uh, skin and begin to pump it up between 160 and 180. Let it down slowly. Okay. I have her blood pressure at 110 over 70. So now I will take this off of her arm. I will wash my hands. I will get my sheet that I need to record the blood pressure on. I will put the date. I will put my name, which is the candidate name. And I will check off blood pressure. And down in the candidate results, I will put whatever the uh, blood pressure was, 110 over 70. Wash my hands, open the privacy, put her back to bed. <laughs> Give her a call light. Tell her to give me a call if she needs me. That's the end of the blood pressure.